guys, it's me, African Hair God. Um, let me just go ahead and get into this video because y'all know how I do it. I just tend to ramble and talk and just go on forever and ever and ever. Um, but y'all see, I am looking a little rough. Um, but don't worry because come by the end of the week, my birthday's on Friday, I'm going to be lucky. Sexy, sexy! So my hair is out as you can see I rocked the afro today and I'm really not trying to wear my hair out ever since I just did my cut last week so I am trying to go into protective style mode what I'm gonna be doing today I guess this is going to be a tutorial <clears throat> is nothing you haven't seen already I'm gonna be doing many twists on my hair and I'm gonna be adding extensions the um, I added extensions because um, I want this style to last long um, and also I want to add a little bit more length to my mini twist so yeah, I have graduation coming up, my birthday's at the end of the week, and I do, I'm not trying to fool my hair, okay? I have too much going on. So the hair that I'm using is the Janet Collection. You don't see that? Yeah, you don't see it. Um, this is the Janet Collection Afro Kinky Bulk, 18 inches, and it claims to be 100% human hair. Now, I don't know the difference between synthetic, human hair, human hair blend, whatever, but um, it feels pretty human. It, human? It feels pretty 100% uh, <laughs> human hair to me. So I'm just gonna show you what the hair looks like. This is in a color number two, and it is a a really light brown. I thought it would be a little closer to my color, but I guess not. Um, so as you can see, it does come on this threaded track, which actually makes it so much easier. The hair is tangled free, so you can just pinch off what you need and pull it out. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to get into that after I've kind of worked with the hair a little bit because there was no tutorials on here with people using this type of hair. and. I don't blame them because this hair costs, y'all see that, $64 plus tax. It says right there, plus tax. That's ridiculous. Um, I don't know. I guess it's human hair, so you get what you pay for. $64? Psh, ain't nobody got time for that. So I did not purchase this hair, okay? Let me put it up there. I did not purchase this hair. This hair was given to me by a friend, a personal friend, not no friend from curlynicky.com or anything like that. Um, so I don't know where you can get this. I don't know where they sell it at. Google is your best friend. For all answers, we turn to Google, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get started and kind of work through my first pack. I have two packs of these, so I'm not, I'm not trying to make my twist really bulky. Just trying to, you know, add a little bit just to add length and make it look as natural as possible. So... We'll see how this turns out, but I'm going to come back after I got a little further uh, in with the installation, and I'll see you all then. Until then, stay tuned. Hey y'all, I'm back, just checking in. Um, this is, I just completed one full pack of hair, so this is the progress I've made from one pack. Oh, sweet Jesus. All right. See all up in my parts and stuff, but yeah, all right. So that's one pack. Um, so to move on to the second pack, um, I just have the crown and the front to do. Um, that's probably gonna take me another three hours or so to finish. It took me about maybe seven, eight hours to get this far. So yeah, I'm gonna take a break and come back and I'll show you how I'm putting this in after I made a little bit more progress after my break. Okay, see y'all then.
Okay, so as you see, I've parted off my hair. I've made a lot of progress. What I'm going to do is just take the track and just pinch off a small piece of the hair. And I am going to do that twice. Now with these two pieces of hair, what I'm going to do is intersect them where the curly hair starts. Maybe about half an inch from where the curly kicky part of the hair starts and I'm going to take that straight hair and I'm just going to basically wrap the kinky hair around that straight part. You can see the kinky hair has a texture that's like coils so I'm just basically forming the coils around that straight hair and I'm going to do that on both ends. What this basically does is holds the two pieces together and makes it a lot easier to grip the hair and to braid it onto my hair. Now the moisturizer that I'm using is the Talia Wajid Curly Curl Cream. I just applied to the section and I began braiding my hair normally like you do with any extension style. So what I do when I braid my hair, I basically braid about a couple of passes and once the braid has somewhat formed, I pinch the braid and push it down to my scalp while gripping my own hair, which is the third piece. And that basically pushes the braid closer to the scalp and helps it start more closer to the roots. Um, and I basically retighten the braid by pulling on the extension pieces and continue to braid. So after I finish braiding about half an inch or so, I will split my hair into the two extension pieces and begin twisting. Now the way that I'm twisting this hair is sort of like Senegalese twists or rope twists where you actually twist each strand as you wrap them around each other, which basically produces a tight twist. Now if you need to, if your ends come out a little uneven, you can split the longer end into the shorter end so that you have enough to twist all the way to the ends. And when I get towards the ends, I actually twist the hair loosely as opposed to continually to do the rope twist all the way to the end uh, because it just gives a better hold. And I basically just seal the ends by applying some moisturizer and just basically coiling it around my finger and you want to snip off any scraggly strands or ends that are at the end of the twist because those tend to snag other strands and such and have your hair pointing in all types of crazy directions so after you finish all that you basically just go back and check for any of the straight hairs that may be sticking out of your braid at the root and just snip those off because that's just really really tacky so we're going to repeat the same process again, just pitching off two pieces of the hair and I'm going to join them together the same way by intersecting them where the, cur the kicky part of the hair starts and taking that kicky part of the hair and wrapping it around that straight portion of the hair. And again, this is basically just to hold the two pieces together just so that we don't have to jeopardize length when using this extension hair. Okay, so I guess I'll walk you through this yet again. Uh, you guys have seen this plenty of times, but again, I just braid as normally, uh, using my hair as the third piece to braid. I do a couple passes braiding to allow the braid to form. Once it's formed, I grip my own hair and pinch down where the braid is and push it towards my scalp and retighten the braid by basically pulling on the extension pieces to hold it in place and continue to braid for half an inch. Um, after I finish the portion that I'm braiding, I split my hair into the two extension pieces and just rope twist or Senegalese twist down the length of the hair. When I reach near the ends, I twist the hair rather loosely, otherwise you'll be rope twisting until infinity. 
and I basically seal the ends by applying moisturizer and curling it up with my finger. Being that this is human hair, it actually does absorb moisture, so it does curl up. Okay, so snip off those raggedy ends, check and make sure you ain't got no stray hair sticking out because the straight hairs were kind of annoying to me and you can kind of see them kind of peeking out in the other twists and such, but yeah, just snip those off. Hey guys, I'm back. I've exfoliated, deep cleansed my face, shaved, and finished my hair. Um, so I just want to come on and show you what it looks like. Here it is in a loose ponytail. And here's how the roots look. Alright, let me take it down for you. So as you can see, it falls about shoulder length. Um, and no, I did not crinkle the ends. This is how the ends naturally just curled and crinkled on its own. Okay? And here's how it looks from the back. So I absolutely love this hair. I loved working with this hair. This is the best quality of hair that I've worked with. Um, however, there is kind of a love-hate relationship um, that I had with the hair when installing it. Um, as you saw, the hair came on a threaded track where the top part was straight, completely straight, and the bottom part was kinky. And though that made it easy to grip and pinch off hair and um, braid the hair, it also made it a little bit more difficult to conceal those straight ends. And in some places, you can actually see them popping up. Or maybe, like, I don't know. But I think I did a good job of concealing it. The ones that did stick out of the braid, I just took the scissors and snipped it off. Um, I can say with certainty that this is 100% human hair uh, because when I wet the hair, the hair softened and the hair actually absorbed that moisture and that water. Um, so, being that this is 100% human hair, I'm going to have to maintain it and care for it as if it was my own hair, which means moisturizing it regularly, sealing with oil, um, shampooing the hair, conditioning the hair, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to try to stretch this style for two months. We'll see if I can make that, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this hair. Oh! This hair. This hair is not for beginners. If you are not used to braiding your own hair, I don't recommend that you go and get this hair and do you some kinky twists because it's, it's very hard to handle the hair if you're not used to handling it, okay? At first, the crinkled ends were annoying me and I felt like it was a little too much, like it was too feminine. I know that sounds strange coming from me, but it was just a little too much going on for me, but I think I'm going to hold on to the hair the way it is for a while and just see how it grows on me. Um, but yeah, that's it, y'all. I'll keep y'all updated on the hair, um, on the style, rather. And uh, this style in total took me about, let me see, I would say it took me about 10 or 11 hours to do. I did it all in one whole day. So I did for like non-stop, with the exception of a couple of breaks for like 30 minutes to an hour. Um, yeah, I'm sure this video is long enough. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. And of course, pictures at the end. Until next time, be blessed.